<laughs> Seven into nothing. <laughs> Why did you even want me to play? You didn't even teach me the pass button. I guess I forgot. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Enough screwing around. Oh, it's go time. Welcome to the PB Game Time Playbook with Matt Porter and Jeff Greer. It's week four, and for a lot of teams, it's time to get into that district part of the schedule. That's right. A lot of these early season games, as fun as they are, don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. This is around the time where we separate the pretenders from the contenders. Last week, of course, I was a perfect 13-0, while Porter here was a lowly 8-5. I was terrible, let's call it what it is, but it's nothing that I can't fix this week. I'm gonna start it out with Gardens at Jupiter. Nice rivalry game in North County. Gardens has shown it can move the chains better than anybody with that rushing attack. They put up 300 yards per game, more than any other large school team, and it's not even really close. Jupiter's hung tough in some games, and it's shown that it can move the ball with that passing attack, but I don't think they're gonna be able to stop Rashard Burney and Alex Clark. I'm going with Gardens. 35 to 17. American Heritage is at Kings this week. It's a nice rivalry game. Last year the rivalry games were not close. American Heritage blew them out both times. Kings, look, I like them to compete for that second spot in the district with Cardinal Newman, but I just don't think they can keep up with all the different horses that American Heritage has. Too much firepower for them. I like American Heritage in this one, 35 to 10. Dwyer opens up district play on the road this week at Spanish River. The Sharks are 3-0, and we're we really gonna see what they're made of after this game. Spanish River has shown it can move the ball through the air with Reggie Love and quarterback Taylor Schnars. If Dwyer shuts down the passing attack though, they're gonna have to adjust. We'll see if they can do it. I'm not so sure that they can against a swarming Dwyer defense. For that reason, I'm picking the Panthers 33 to 10. Seminole Ridge opens district play this week at Wellington. You know, after the spring, we thought these two teams were worlds apart, but after a couple games in the early part of this season, they both are looking for answers. Seminole Ridge has struggled offensively. Wellington has put together a few big plays for scoring points, but they haven't been able to move the ball in chunks and sustain drives. That worries me a little bit against a Seminole Ridge team that defensively seems to be there right now. I think Darian Williams is gonna have a few big catches for Seminole Ridge, and I like them to win this game on the road 28-14. Royal Palm Beach brings a frisky group into Palm Beach Central for a non-district contest. Watch out for Wildcats senior running back Tremaine McCullough. He's third among large school players in rushing yards, second in touchdowns. Dude's averaging just under 10 yards a carry. Here's another stat though. Central's defense is tied for the most total yards allowed among large schools. I still think they're going to be able to contain the Wildcats though. Plus they can score on anybody. I'm going Palm Beach Central in a barn burner 42 to 24. Lake Worth is at Leonard this week. It's another nice rivalry game. Lake Worth has shown that it can be beaten on the ground a little bit, which worries me, but Leonard is a pass-first team. That means this game's going to be a shootout, and in shootouts, I generally go with the quarterback who I like more. In this case, that's Evan Moore. That's why I think Lake Worth wins this one 31-28. That's it. We're closing the playbook. We've got an outstanding game of the week this week. Glades Day, Jupiter Christian, Saturday, 6 p.m. kickoff at Dwyer High. They'll get it going then, but we'll have a preview video later this week, so be sure to check that out. As always, go to pbgametime.com throughout the week for all of your breaking news and updates. Check us out on Twitter or search for us on Facebook by searching PB Game Time. See you later, everybody. Royal Palm Breed. <laughs> that distracted me. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Frisky team in the Palm Beach Central. Yeah, frisky. Thank you.